Upper Mesopotamia is the name used for the uplands and Great Outwash Plain of northwestern Iraq, northeastern Syria and southeastern Turkey, in the northern Middle East. After the Arab Islamic conquest of the mid-7th century AD the region has been known by the traditional Arabic name of Al-Jazeera Arabic, al the island, also transliterated Jazeera, Jazeera, Jazeera and the Syriac Aramaic variant Gazarta or Gozarto. The Euphrates and Tigris rivers transform Mesopotamia into almost an island, as they are joined together at the Shat al-Arab in the Basra Governorate of Iraq, and their sources in eastern Turkey are in close proximity. The region extends south from the mountains of Anatolia, east from the hills on the left bank of the Euphrates River, west from the mountains on the right bank of the Tigris River and includes the Sinjar Plain. It extends down the Tigris to Samara and down the Euphrates to Hit. The Khabar River runs for over 400 kilometers, 250 miles across the plain from Turkey in the north, feeding into the Euphrates. The major settlements are Mosul, Deir ez zor Raqqa, Al Hasaka, Diyarbakir and Kamishli. The western, Syrian part, is essentially contiguous with the Syrian al hasaka Governorate and is described as Syria's breadbasket. The eastern, Iraqi part, includes and extends slightly beyond the Iraqi Nineveh Governorate. In the north it includes the Turkish provinces of Sanlirfa, Mardin, and parts of Diyarbakir province. Topic geography The name Al Jazeera has been used since the 7th century AD by Islamic sources to refer to the northern section of Mesopotamia, which together with the Sawad, made up Al Iraq. Iraq. The name means island, and at one time referred to the land between the two rivers, which in Aramaic is Bit Naran. Historically, the name could be restricted to the Sinjar plain coming down from the Sinjar Mountains, or expanded to embrace the entire plateau east of the coastal ranges. In pre-Abbasid times the western and eastern boundaries seem to have fluctuated, sometimes including what is now northern Syria to the west and Adiabene in the east. Al Jazeera is characterized as an outwash or alluvial plain, quite distinct from the Syrian desert and lower-lying central Mesopotamia, however the area includes eroded hills and incised streams. The region has several parts to it. In the northwest is one of the largest salt flats in the world, Sabke al-Jabal. Further south, extending from Mosul to near Basra is a sandy desert not unlike the empty quarter. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries the region has been plagued by drought. Topic history Topic Prehistory Al Jazeera is extremely important archaeologically. This is the area where the earliest signs of agriculture and domestication of animals have been found, and thus the starting point leading to civilization and the modern world. Al Jazeera includes the mountain Karaka Dag in southern Turkey, where the closest relative to modern wheat still grows wild. At several sites, e.g., Halan Semi, Abu Herrera, Murabet, we can see a continuous occupation from a hunter gathering lifestyle based on hunting, and gathering and grinding of wild grains to an economy based mainly on growing still wild varieties of wheat, barley, and legumes from around 9000 BC. CPPNA. Domestication of goats and sheep followed within a few generations, but didn't become widespread for more than a millennium Weaving and pottery followed about 2,000 years later. From Al Jazeera the idea of farming along with the domesticated seeds spread first to the rest of the Levant and then to North Africa, Europe and eastwards through Mesopotamia all the way to present-day Pakistan Earlier archaeologists worked on the assumption that agriculture was a prerequisite to a sedentary lifestyle, but excavations in Israel and Lebanon surprised science by showing that a sedentary lifestyle actually came before agriculture see the Natufian culture. Further surprises followed in the 1990s with the spectacular finds of the megalithic structures at Gobekli Tepe in southeastern Turkey. The earliest of these apparently ritual buildings are from before 9000 BC, over 5,000 years older than Stonehenge, and thus the absolute oldest known megalithic structures anywhere. As far as we know today no well-established farming societies existed at the time. Farming seemed to be still experimental and only a smallish supplement to continued hunting and gathering. So either were semi sedentary hunter-gatherers rich enough and many enough to organize and execute such large communal building projects, or well-established agricultural societies existed much further back than hitherto known. After all, Gobekli Tepe lies just 32 kilometers from Karaka Dag. The questions raised by Gobekli Tepe have led to intense and creative discussions among archaeologists of the Middle East. Excavations at Gobekli Tepe continues, only about 5% has been revealed so far. 
Topic: Early history. Upper Mesopotamia is the heartland of ancient Assyria, founded circa the 25th century BC. From the late 24th century BC it was part of the Akkadian Empire. When the empire broke up, the northern Akkadians reformed Assyria, and from 2050 BC until 605 BC it was an integral part of the Assyrian nation, and the old Assyrian Empire circa 2050 to 1750 BC, Middle Assyrian Empire 1365 to 1020 BC and Neo-Assyrian Empire 911 to 605 BC. The Uruk period ca. 4000 to 3100 BC existed from the protohistoric Chalcolithic to early Bronze Age period in Mesopotamia including a section of the upper region The region fell to the Assyrian southern brethren the Babylonians in 605 BC and from 539 BC it became part of the Persian Achaemenid Empire where it was known as Athura Persian for Assyria from 323 BC it was ruled by the Greek Seleucid Empire, the Greeks corrupting the name to Syria, a 9th century BC Indo-European version of Ashureu Assyria, which they also applied to Aramea. It then fell to the Parthians and Romans and was renamed Assyria by both. The area was still known as Ashuristan Assyria under the Persian Sassanid Empire until the Arab Islamic conquest of the mid-7th century AD when it was renamed Al Jazeera. Since pre-Arab and pre-Islamic times, Al Jazeera has been an economically prosperous region with various agricultural fruit and cereal products, as well as a prolific manufacturing food processing and cloth weaving system. The region's position at the border of the Sasanian and Byzantine territories also made it an important commercial center, an advantage that the region continued to enjoy, even after the Muslim conquest of Persia and Byzantine possessions in the Levant. Al Jazeera included the Roman, Byzantine provinces of Azrain and Mesopotamia, as well as the Parthian, Persian provinces of Ashuristan, Arbayastan, Nisibis, and Mosul. Islamic empires The conquest of the region took place under the early caliphate that left the general administration of the region intact, with the exception of levying the jizya tax on the population. At the time of Muawiyah, governor of Syria and the later of the Umayyad Caliphate, the administration of Al Jazeera was included in the administration of Syria. During the early Umayyad Caliphate, the administration of Al Jazeera was often shared with that of Armenia, a vast province encompassing most of Transcaucasia and Iranian Azerbaijan. The prosperity of the region and its high agricultural and manufacturing output made it an object of contest between the leaders of the early conquering Arab armies. Various conquerors tried, in vain, to bind various cities of the former Sasanian provinces, as well as the newly conquered Byzantine provinces of Mesopotamia, into a coherent unit under their own rule. The control of the region, however, was essential to any power centered in Baghdad. Consequently, the establishment of the Abbasid Caliphate brought Al Jazeera under the direct rule of the government in Baghdad. At this time, Al Jazeera was one of the highest tax yielding provinces of the Abbasid Empire. During the early history of Islam, Al Jazeera became a center for the Qarijit movement and had to be constantly subdued by various caliphs. In the 920s, the local Hamdanid dynasty established an autonomous state with two branches in Al Jazeera under Nasir al and northern Syria under Saif al -Dala. The demise of the Hamdanid power put the region back under the nominal rule of the caliphs of Baghdad, while actual control was in the hands of the Bayad brothers who had conquered Baghdad itself. At the turn of the 11th century, the area came under the rule of a number of local dynasties, the Numerids, the Murdasids, and the Euclids, who persisted until the conquest by the Seljuk Empire. With the arrival of the First Crusade, the western part came into Crusader hands as the county of Edessa, while the rest was ruled by a succession of semi-independent Turkish rulers until taken over by the Zengids, and eventually the Ayyubids. Thereafter the northern and eastern portion were ruled by the Artukids, while the western parts came under the Mamluk Sultanate of Egypt until the Ottoman Mamluk War 1516 when it was taken by the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Modern history The region is the traditional homeland of the indigenous Assyrian, Aramaic-speaking Christian descendants of the ancient Mesopotamians. 
Thousands of Assyrian refugees entered into Syrian Al Jazeera, from Turkey following the Assyrian genocide of World War I. Additionally, in 1933, a further 24,000 Assyrian Christians fled into the area, following the Simil massacre in the Mosul region of northern Iraq. However, violence against Christians changed the demographics of this area. Some Kurdish and Persian tribes cooperated with Ottoman authorities in the Armenian and Assyrian genocides in Upper Mesopotamia. Assyrian Christians began to emigrate from Syria after the Amuda massacre of August 9, 1937. This massacre, carried out by the Kurd Said Aga, emptied the city of its Assyrian population. In 1941, the Assyrian community of al Malikiya were subjected to a vicious assault. Even though the assault failed, the Assyrians were terrorized and left in large numbers, and the immigration of Kurds from Turkey to the area have converted al Malikiya, al Darbasiya, and Amuda to completely Kurdish cities. The historically important Christian city of Nusaybin had a similar fate after its Christian population left when it was annexed to Turkey. The Christian population of the city crossed the border into Syria and settled in Kamishli, which was separated by the railway new border from Nusaybin. Nusaybin became Kurdish and Kamishli became an Assyrian city. Things soon changed, however, with the immigration of Kurds beginning in 1926 following the failure of the rebellion of Said Ali Naqshbandi against the Turkish authorities. <laughs> <laughs> Current situation Jazeera is one of the four dioceses of the Syriac Orthodox Church. The others are in Aleppo, Homs Hama, and Damascus. The area has experienced a high rate of emigration in the past 40 years. Prime factors have been drought and the emigration of Assyrian Christians due to economic hardship and conflict with Kurds. See also Assyrian homeland, Beth Narain, Fertile Crescent, Geography of Iraq. Topic. Notes Topic. Bibliography Moore, Andrew M. T., Hillman, Gordon C., Legg, Anthony J. 2000. Village on the Euphrates, From Foraging to Farming at Abu Herrera. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19510806-X. Peter M. M. G. Ackermans, Glenn M. Schwartz 2003. The Archaeology of Syria, From Complex Hunter-Gatherers to Early Urban Societies c. 16,000 BC. Cambridge University Press. pp. 72. ISBN 978-0-521-79666-8. Retrieved 27 June 2011. Istakri, Ibrahim. Al Masalik wa al Mamalik, Dar al Kalam, Cairo, 1961. Brower, Ralph W., Boundaries and Frontiers in Medieval Muslim Geography, Philadelphia, 1995. Ibn Qaradadbi. Al Masalik wa al Mamalik, E. J. Brill, Leiden, 1967. Less Strange, G. The Lands of the Eastern Caliphate. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1930. Mohammadi Malayuri, Muhammad. Tariq o Farhang i Iran dar asr e Integal, Tus, Tehran, 1996. Morni, Michael G. Iraq after the Muslim conquest, Princeton, 1984.